Hello, people. This is Mike Jr. the second. Welcome back to Besiege. So, I have gone back. I believe it is this world. Yes, it is this world. And I did not realize how close we are to the end of the game. I think we have like th two or three more zones, I believe. So, anyway, I went through this level a few different times. And I had a bit of difficulty. Mostly because I really didn't have a device I could really get a lot of the, the objects that are up here without really getting destroyed real easily. So instead I just kind of went, you can destroy the majority of the ones on the bottom and honestly call it a day. It is a lot more difficult and easier to fuck up, but it is possible. So the device I went for, and I named it Death Metal. This is the device I went for. This is hilarious by the way, look at this fucking thing. So originally I just went with regular drills on, um, I did a bunch of different kind of designs, but when it came to this one finally, I just kind of went with drills and whatnot on uh, pistons. But then I decided to go up here and use spinners with spikes, and that's kind of where the death metal part of it comes from. So, uh, we're going to try to get this to work right now. Hopefully it'll work out just fine. Um, also, I have a backup plan in this thing, which usually fucks me over. It is basically... Uh, I, I hate to say it, but it's basically two bombs on the inside of this with a flamethrower on the inside, and sometimes it kind of goes off on its own. Now, I believe I could probably not have to do that at all, but honestly... The reason why I have it is that a lot of times the vehicle will break, just for no fucking reason. It'll break, it'll mess up, and there's not really much you can do after that. So because of that, um, I decided to go with that as a last resort. Who knows, it could break a thing or two, and then all of a sudden, you know, it could get it to me. And what do you know, when I had a machine break earlier, the explosion actually helped get me the point when I, uh, because I did, I have beat this one. Because I figured I wanted to beat some of these without, uh... Before I got on screen with them, just to kind of skip a little bit of the process. I kind of wanted to show a lot more of my fail- Oop, look, we're already messing up here. Oh god, I think I lost- Oof. Oh, and there's that, yep. Damn. Well, fuck. I could do this, too. Oop, oop, I'm gonna get one up there, too. Though I don't think it'll do it, sad to say. But yeah, that sadly happened. Um, oh, hey, I got one over here. Can I kind of stretch you out? Can you get around and maybe destroy something? Nah, that, that I thought that house was gonna be more than I thought it was. But anyway, if you can't already tell, there, there's a few more things around here which could possibly uh, get me the point. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to go with that, said to say. So going back to this, let's reset my camera. Good, good. Um, I did a few different things to kind of help with this device because a lot of the times it liked to twist around and it looks like it was breaking very easily. So what I decided to go with this device is that I also put little braces on the pistons as well so they kind of move in unison together. Because you don't want to, you don't want to attach them this way. Because remember, keep in mind they they are trying to stretch out here. But keeping them together helps them from wiggling too much on their own, and instead it kind of keeps them more connected together. So I don't really know how to explain that, but for the most part, that's kind of what it was. That that I decided to kind of brace them together because I felt like they were breaking a lot easier without it. Um, the things on top were kind of a later addition. Um, I felt like they were they would kind of help possibly get some of the ones on top, and honestly, they. They really don't help get any any of the items on top. The other reason why they're still there, honestly, is because... Um, the, the reason why they're still there is that, I don't know, I just kind of like the design of it, and I think it kind of helped with the... It helps with a few things, I think, possibly. Because you never know, sometimes it might help with breaking a few extra things, and not only that, but if for some reason it doesn't... And some of my things don't work, or they break off or something, it's a little bit of an extra thing on top to kind of help with it, because it can get buildings, I know that much. At least I believe it can get buildings. I could be wrong, but fuck, what do you do? Also, I made sure to, equi to equip this thing with better turning. Trust me. Uh, get the rotation speed on this thing up. Because it helps out a lot. I don't know how many... I don't know if people really notice it or not, but uh-oh. <clears throat> there goes one of my things. What the fuck popped off? I am extremely confused right now. What the fuck popped off? Oh, one in there. Okay, never mind. Uh, that was one that actually doesn't have anything attached to it. You know, I don't know why. I should have probably done a spike on there. That might have helped out a bit, I don't know. I mean, right now it's useless, so I don't really mind that it hasn't broken off at all. Alright, I think I'm just going to go forward on this. By the way, the, the cows and stuff, they also count towards your kill. Actually, they count a lot towards your kills. Like, seriously, do the fucking uh, things if you can. I already lost one of them, and they move around like nuts, because the... Keep in mind, these things spin constantly. Hi. Just keep going. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to get that point for no one. <laughs> Alright, now let's get away from this fucking thing, because, uh, in all honesty, I don't know if I can get it to go outward, because I don't, because I don't want it to destroy me. 
Because if it hits that bomb on the inside, it's gone. Come on, go away. Go away. This is also why I kind of kept the braces together with these devices, because it does usually keep them together. Oh, fuck me, fuck me. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. We're... Oh, and we fucked up there. Damn. We were getting close this time, I swear. I didn't catch that on fire either. I don't know. Maybe I can kind of move these around a bit and maybe they can get... Because it seems like what I'm missing is I got a lot of the pots and whatnot over here. A few of the dead animals. And is that it? Damn, how did I get it before? I mean, I see two animals on the outside. That balloon up top, which never fucking dies. Um, I did kind of have an idea for it, but I never really went through with it. Oh, there's a lot of fucking creatures over here. Oh, maybe I can actually kill a few of them? Oh no, the... Sadly, the, the spinner with the pistons are already, uh... The pistons won't go any more forward. Damn. Alright, so that's not actually working, so to say. I wonder if... How far upward is this thing? I want to know if I can do a... This is more for later on. But possibly put cannons on this. Turn you around. Boom. To get that, to get the floating fortress right there. Or the floating dude. Because I'm sure he will give a few bit of points. So I'm going to try this level again off screen. Just because one right now, it's apparently the game's having a lot of lag. So let's go without it. So uh, I'm going to do another practice off screen and see if I can get it to work. So I will be back when I come up with a decent plan for you guys. Alrighty then, folks. I am back and I think I've come up with a semi-decent plan on how to do this. So if you can't already tell, I do have a few extra cannons on here. Uh, my original idea was to have a few extra cannons just to make it so that I could hit that balloon up top so I can get a few extra points because, you know, I, I was getting close to really only messing up on the few extra points, honestly. Um, one of the biggest issues I've noticed is that I think some of the reasons why I did so well the time before when I didn't record was that a lot of the... I was able to kill a lot of the farm animals before they were able to kind of get out of this whole area. So it is kind of important to kind of kill some of these animals, and I've already fucked up, God damn it! Well then, fuck me. Oh shit, I destroyed a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> um, but anyway, that didn't work out as fine. But, I, you know, a lot of the farm animals over here, so I kind of want to come in here and kind of kill a lot of the animals and stuff, back up, work my way over here, and then I also have a few cannons on the front and back to kind of get this one, this, just, just that house right there, just, just for the few extra points that it could get me. That's kind of the whole reason. Because really, I, I think they want... I don't know what they kind of wanted you to do here. Because in all honesty, I don't know what things came out at the time. Which made them go, oh hey, you know, you want to focus your hand on getting... Because, uh, keep in mind, a lot of the updates probably brought a few new inventions. Such as, I know, the, I know the water gun was one of them. And whatnot. So you never know what the developers probably were... What was on their mind and, you know, what they were trying to get you to use here. And, you know, you can you can notice that easily when, when you first play the game. You know, you've done so much with Besiege, then all of a sudden you gotta switch things up because, you know, they just added a few new things and that, you know, that's pretty fucking sweet. But you don't always know that. And by the way, the rubies, rubies do pop out of these fucking things. Which, you know, I, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going crazy that one time or not, but I wasn't. They are were fucking rubies. I heard them. Alrighty then. Oh, let's get that mouse a little bit out of the way. Sorry. Oh god. Yeah, something fucked up there for sure. Is it my cannons that are doing it now? God damn. You know, I never had this issue before. I do have two palms in there, but the point of that is to make it so that it blows up. Uh, you know, to, to make sure that when the explosion happens, you know, it doesn't fuck around. It fucking explodes. Alright, well. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get it fucking right, god damn it. And if anything happens, I'll just need to cut out all this fucking bullshit. Alrighty then, so. We got that. Kill a lot of the farm animals right there. Boom, got that one. Seriously, fuck the, fuck the buffalo. The sheeps were cooler. Just being honest here, sheeps were better. Buffalo can go fuck themselves. I'm really curious what they're going to be doing, because, uh, funny enough, uh, once I got, I must have got to a certain point, because for some reason, even though I haven't beat the area right after this one, um, I took on level 25, and, oh, there goes that again. What the fuck is doing it? There's got to be something going on that I got no fucking clue about. Because, like, everything should be fine here. Nothing should be popping off. I'm going to go off screen a bit, and I am going to latch some of the braces on some of these things to help, hopefully help them not pop off. 
I, I might even possibly get rid of the pistons on these sides right here to help with them popping off possibly. Because they must be popping off and causing something to explode, possibly even re reinforce a bit of the inside here. So I will be back after I do all those modifications. Alrighty then guys, I am back. So I tried a few different methods to hopefully get this thing working. Uh, just in case any of my things fell off, I put a few more spikes around certain things. Um, I also had a decoupler for the uh, little spinny spike things, just in case I need to do a last resort kind of blow the fuck, blow myself up to helpfully make these things kind of stretch out a little bit further. farther. Um, I tried to block off this middle section over here because I thought maybe things were getting inside of it, but in all honesty, I can't tell if it was honestly making things better or worse. So I decided to just say fuck it, and honestly, I just think the best method is to take it easy. I was able to complete this one time, and um, again, using the method that I've done so far, so hopefully it'll, you know, fucking stay that way. Um, also, I have a few cannons up here that I'm going to be using. Actually, I need to change uh, this one to a different key. I'll do seven. But, um, so I can help get these houses over here, just kind of one and done with. So, uh, actually, I can do it immediately, if I remember correctly. Just gonna move these back a bit. Actually, that one should be good enough for that. There we go. A little bit further down. Aim it that way. And that should get that house over there. Nope, I fucked that up. What do you do? Three? Nope, that was the wrong one. That was the one behind. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to kind of fight to get this one, just because um, I originally went with only one or two designs, if I remember correctly. Actually, that might just be the just right enough distance, just because it's further back. But um, I originally went with just two cannons on the front that moved. Nice, got it, okay. But I figured I think I might also want to work on getting that down as well to help add to my count. But anyway, I honestly think that the best method for this is to, in a sense, take it slightly slow. You know, especially in these little corner areas, you know, they're not, it's not helping to rush through these. You know, my things are fucking up and it just kind of fucks up. So, it, I mean, when I say slow, I mean that in a sense. Just don't go bum rushing, you know, pressing that a thousand times. And I need to turn that fucking notification thing off. I thought I already did. So, uh, I guess Ka Ka Kaju, I don't even know, who, I don't even know who the fuck that is. It's probably somebody who changed their goddamn name. Alright, so. I am going to be moving this thing about. I also think what might be causing a lot of the issues in terms of trying to complete this level is actually those fucking doves. Because kind of like before, the doves do count towards us, because uh, the animals here do count towards a specific goal, and I do think the doves are kind of messing that up right there. So, uh oh, I think my thing is slightly messing up right now. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I do want to get my thing ready, and I kind of want to see if I can get a cannon ready to blow up that. Actually, no. I think I'll do that when I get closer, because I do want to blow up the, um... Okay, that's not going to work at all. I do want to blow up the windmill back there. With the cannon. And then everything else will just be kind of a explosion to kind of get the things in the background. Because as you can see right now, nothing's like destroying anything. Like, before I was having issues up the ass, but right now everything's good. No fucking clue why, but hey, you know, shit happens, I guess. Things can be unexplained sometimes, and I have no idea why I'm not going any further. Oh, that goddamn tree. Half of me is fucking positive. It's the trees that are fucking me up, and I can barely move right now. Yay. Because that's what I fucking need right now. I'm just trying to turn, actually. So I want to see if I can get this cannon on the windmill. Oh, oh, got it. Got it. Let's move forward a bit while turning. Okay, that'll hopefully be it. Alright, let's see if I can get that. I think it was seven. Boom, baby, nice. Alright, so we got that. Uh, I guess the two things I gotta do is get these little things up here right now. Okay, let's see if I can back up. Don't fuck up, game. Come on, we got this. We got this, game. Come on. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Come on. I kinda wanna destroy the balloon guy, but I kinda don't at the same time. Oh, and there goes that. Well... Come on, just keep going, keep going. Actually, I almost got this, come on. Come on. Mm. Oh, we got it, sweet. Okay, yep, so yeah. Uh, that's basically what's happened all times I've won. I don't know exactly what it is. I can't tell if I'm blowing up a percentage of the birds or whatnot. But I, I still don't know how I did it the first time. I think I had almost all three buildings up on top of these things, but I still somehow won. I must be getting the animals hanging around. But honestly, the, all these moving parts have been what seem to have saved me throughout a lot of this, so... God, fucking three hours. God damn. I don't know if that counts 
uh, your previous time as well to do it over again. I think it does, but I'm not sure, so there's that. So anyway, um, that was that one. And this will be the very last area in this entire, uh, for this mic plays, at least for now, until a new, uh, until the new update comes out that fixes a lot of things. Uh, basically, these are sold, these are reskinned soldiers of the, um, these are reskinned soldiers of the previous area. And actually, I'm doing pretty well right now. I might even be able to just beat this. Oh, nope, that didn't work. I forgot I had bombs in there. <laughs> oh, come on, I have one more tent. No, I actually could have done that on my first go. Shit. I was thinking I was going to have to work to build this. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to practice this a few times and see if I can beat the level. Holy shit, I got really fucking close there. Yeah, damn. All right, um, I'll be back, and I'm going to see if I can actually get this fucking thing. Holy shit. Alrighty then, guys, I am back, and I did a little bit of reworking here to kind of make this thing work. And in all honesty, it's not the best idea. Honestly, a lot of this actually has a lot more to do with strategy and planning than it actually does in terms of just building the better machine here. Or, a, not really a better machine, but a good machine. So basically, uh, the way I have this working is that I also have cannons right here on the sides, and I actually have them mapped specifically to the keys right in front of my uh, arrow keys for when I drive the vehicle. Now, the point of this is that as soon as I pass these two locations exactly when I need to, I'm going to be pressing the button to have the cannon destroy them. Then hopefully things, I'm going to rush my ass up here, and then before my vehicle explodes, try to destroy some of these. This motherfucker, uh, this is usually my last guy almost always. I almost destroy everyone, but this little guy, you'd think the highest one would be the most difficult. No, 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 this motherfucker right here. So I think you guys, you should be able to see my mouse. So anyway, because of that, um, this might take a bit more than just once or twice, so please give me the moment to... Oh, I fucked and missed that one. Yeah, I fucked that up. These ones are mostly destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Destroy those two, yeah. See, I, I would have had that if I just hit that one on time, so actually, I might, I might be able to actually get it if I push these things enough. Because this guy right here is coming for... Actually, no, those are just cannons. Sadly, I can't fire the fucking thing because of, um... Heat automatically makes the cannons go off. So you can't, like, have them break apart and then all of a sudden press the cannon, uh, the X cannon button. Sadly, I wish that would work, but it does not. Let's do this shit. Nope, missed it that time. Missed that one, too. But what do you do? Nope. Yeah, I think I missed a lot of them here. Oh no, I'm, I, got, I got a lot of them. Oh, that one's on fire? Okay, I can get this one down here. I can totally fucking get it. There are tons of my little things around them. Come on, you motherfuckers. You know you want to. Oh, we got it. Boom, baby. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not the way that's supposed to work out. But hey, guys, you know, that's that's the end of it. That's the end of Besieged, honestly. Like I said, the, last, the next five worlds... Actually, I'm not exactly sure, because they said the five worlds, but honestly, I think that would mean that 25 counts as well. I mean, if it does, then okay, but I actually did beat this world already because I was able to get into it immediately after, for some reason, I was automatically able to go into it, and I was able to beat it. So, uh, just to kind of show it off, you know, I, I won't spend too much time here, but you're just supposed to destroy these monuments. And really, that, that's not the biggest issue here. The biggest issue here is to um, avoid the tornadoes, honestly, because the tornadoes kind of lift your vehicle in the air for a second, which kind of make it a little bit difficult. I somehow got this on my very first try. I don't know how the fuck I did it. I will try to replicate it for you guys, but I nailed it somehow. Keep in mind, this was one of the previous vehicles as well. So it might not work out exactly like uh, it planned. Uh, I happened last time because of the, some of these issues. Alright, so I got some of those. Oh, that exploded. I wonder, can I get some of these extra things? Oh, I'm almost there. Probably another, because I don't think you have to do all of them. I think you have to do some of them, because at least when I got the achievement, yep, there we go. See, uh, that was extremely fucking easy. I don't know how the fuck I did it, but somehow I fucking did it. So, I don't know. It's interesting to see what they're gonna do here for, because if this counts as one of the new levels, and I just don't know, I'm pretty sure I can't count correctly. And it's this next level here that's gonna have the new ones. Oh, having some issues here. Oh, odd contraption. What? Oh. So I guess this probably does include the new ones. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna ram it. Oh! Now that's interesting. Okay, I'm interested to see what the new contraptions are gonna be, because if you can't tell what this is... Oh, uh, what's going on here? It wants me to turn it. 
Like, turn it, turn it. I wonder if I can get the... Thing, get this thing going. I might be able to do it. See what I can do. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but hey, you know, that's interesting. So apparently, are we going to have a grabbing device? Like, not just like a regular like a regular one, but like an actual, like, more hand motion one? I'm kind of interested to see what they got uh, planned here. So yeah, uh, these are the ones that were supposed to, like I said, were supposed to come with the new functions. Some of the new devices and all that, so yeah. But anyway, guys, that's the end of Besieged, okay? So I'm going to do my best to kind of cut these videos up in a certain kind of way so they kind of fit. Because I haven't really released anything because of uh, other things going on. But um, I'm going to try my best to get these uh, videos out uh, good enough for you guys and, you know, get these well and done. But anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this little thing here. You know, I really have to say, as my first uh, mic plays, you know, I'm I'm kind of surprised that... Or Mike Jr. the second plays. I'm kind of surprised I, I immediately did this series. But like I said, the, the reason why I did that and I didn't uh, do something like... Uh, actually, I can go back to the main screen here. But the only reason I did so is because there's really not that many worlds past what I got to. Oh, and the thing fucked up again. Okay. Um, so, uh, we're just going to be on a black screen right now. Sadly, Fraps is not recording, but luckily I'm doing this in uh, Movie Studio. So, Platinum. So, it's basically Sony Vegas. But, um, anyway, you know, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this whole thing. You know, I might come back to this series in the future when the new stuff comes out. Um, I'm honestly not sure... I also don't really plan on doing any of the sandbox stuff, uh, which is basically, it's just a specific area which allows people to fuck with stuff, and it's honestly the area which makes people love Besiege so much, because they can make whatever the fuck they want to and kind of mess with the game a lot. However, that's not my kind of thing I want to do. So, you know, I'm kind of more interested in solving the puzzles than I am making the devices, because I, I really do think that that's the, that's the thing for me, honestly. People like, people, a lot of people like the building more, I like the, dev I, I like making something based off of a puzzle. So, yeah. But anyway, no, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, whole thing on Besieged. And, uh, you know, feel free to press that uh, subscribe button, the like button, all that kind of stuff if you want to see more videos and whatnot. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time.